Hi, we're DK Dream Vlogs. I'm Katrina. And I'm Trevor. And we would like you to let us tell you a little bit about ourselves and just introduce ourselves to the YouTube channel. I am 44 years old. I work full time. The reasoning behind my personal reasoning behind wanting to start a YouTube channel is accountability and documentation. I'm going on a weight loss journey right now. That's part of my dream is to be better health for myself and my family. And also, I want to travel. I want to travel this country that we have and see all of the nature and the beauty that it has because I love being outdoors. I love being in nature. And I just, I, I've never gotten to travel around and see our country. I've always been busy working as a, like an adult and as a kid going to school and things like that. I mean, it's, I, I blue collar life, like I go to work, come home, go to work, come home. That's what I do. And we're not getting any younger and why not do it now? Like we're tired of the, well, I'm tired of the rat race. I don't know. What about you? So I'm 35 years old and I work a full-time job. I as well am tired of having to go to work every day and come home and just not have enough time to enjoy myself. I love to travel. We both are hoping that this can inspire other people to follow their dreams and just know that when you have it set in your head, you can make it come true and only you can make it come true. Which has been, it's been a few months in the making for us, putting it together and just rolling ideas through our heads and we finally came up with one. So, you want to tell them how we're going to put Brutus together? Brutus is our 2002 Ford Excursion and he's going to become our tiny home on wheels. And we plan on traveling the country in him. He's going to be no different than what most people have in their RVs. He's going to have heat. He's going to have air condition. He's going to have a refrigerator. And I know that sounds like a lot for that kind of a truck. But I've seen people do way, way, way lot with way, way more with a lot less. So if they can do it with a lot less, we sure can do it with what we have. I mean, if a guy can turn a Camaro into a house that has a kitchenette. Yeah. Like, we literally seen a guy that had a late model Camaro that he lived in. He had a kitchenette, a bed, and a tiny closet. And it's like, really? That's insane. So, yeah. And that's what our YouTube channel is going to be about, is our journey. And not just our journey, but our kind of day-to-day -day life getting to that point. Because we are planning on hopefully by the end of 2023 summer doing it full time in our local area and after that by the beginning of summer of 2024 going full time over the road so that gives us time to work out kinks and process of like if something works or doesn't work we got time to adjust it we're not forced into this lifestyle of being a nomad like I've been kicked out of my house and I have to go live in my car kind of thing. This is our choice. This is something that we've been planning to do. So that's kind of like our pro our thought process of like how we want to go about it is slowly but surely but not take too long and second guess ourselves. Because I, I would definitely, if I have enough time to think about it, it'll be three years, four years before I even get moving because it's, I, I'm not big on change, but I like change, if that makes sense. I kind of contradict myself there. I think but it's once change happens, you just go with it. Yeah. But you're not one to... Leap in. Leap feet first. So, we're ju not just going to take you on the journey of the good stuff. You guys are going to see the good and the bad. Because for me, it's going to be really hard on the downsizing. I think that's yeah, going to be my... a lot of downsizing to do. I think that's going to be my hardest part. Um, up until last year, I was in a two-bedroom house by myself, and every room has something in it. So it's going to be a little harder for me, but I'm ready to do it. So we will take you 
through our journey, whether it's good or bad, you guys are going to see every side of it. We also will have a Patreon page where you guys will be able to see a little more exclusive content than what you have here. Um, as guidelines don't allow you guys to see some of the things that we enjoy to do. So yeah. Patreons where you guys will be able to see those things. Um, Early releases. Yeah. We're going to release. We would like to try to release two vi we're, yeah, we would like to release two videos a week, one on Wednesday night and one on Sunday night for YouTube. And our Patreon members would get a video Tuesday night and Saturday night. And then bonus content in between for both channels. It's not just for Patreon or YouTube because we're going to do like uh, product reviews for like our, our tiny home. Like we're... we're we're going to do a, a tour of Brutus, which is the excursion. He has nothing done to him right now as far as l being able to be lived in. He's been modified, but he has not been modified to the point of where you can live in your live in him. But we've drawn up plans and we've gotten equipment to be able to put in him. But we're also... We're, we don't have the engineer mindset. We kind of got to see it. To kind of get it to work like we we, we want to be able to put our hands on it and move it the way we want it to be like we've tried drawing it out we've tried doing measurements and things like that and it drives us crazy because we're like i don't know about that because i can't see it and we're we're hands on we want to be able to do it with our hands to see it work so that's part of our journey like you'll be able to see us build brutus into a living home and our documentation of like what equipment we use, what's junk, what's not junk, what we like, what we don't like. I mean, we plan on being in some really hot places. And we have an AC unit that we're going to be putting in Brutus that runs off of solar. <coughs> Excuse me. We also, we're planning on being in some cool places. So we're also got a heater that we're going to be putting in him that runs independently from the truck. Um, am I missing anything? Oh, our sleeping arrangements, like how we're going to be sleeping. Like, that's a big one with me. I got to be able to sleep comfortable. I can't be curled up in a little corner somewhere, like, not comfortable. I have to be able to sleep comfortable. And that's the whole point is why do it if you're going to be miserable. So we, we've been trying to plan it out. We've been trying to get the equipment to make it comfortable for us. And we know we're going to get the question about what about your private space? What about proximity? What you see right here, we are no farther than probably five feet away from each other the whole time that we're home. If she's in the bedroom, I'm in the bedroom. If I'm in the living room, she's in the living room. If she's in the kitchen, I'm in the kitchen. The only time that we are ever separated is when one of us goes to the restroom. And that's it. Or work. Or work. But that's that's the rat race. That's what we're getting away from. So that that's the big one is why work for somebody and be miserable. And I'm not miserable. I'm just, I've been doing the same job for over seven years. And it's a driving job. But I'm driving for someone else. I'm making someone else money doing something I like to do. So why not do something I like to do and me get enjoyment out of it and hopefully get compensation from like Patreon. So, something where I can be supported on my journey and you guys get content from that being able to see what we see like like i said we're big into nature we're huge into nature she wants to be at the lake every day during the summer and that's part of our thing is once we can get our truck brutus to a livable state we're going to be spending more time in him than we are at home because we want to get accustomed to the lifestyle and there's nothing about the way we've designed Brutus that we should go without. We got, it's crazy. We're going to have internet. We're going to have water. We're going to have a. We're going to have a fully functioning kitchen. A fully functioning kitchen, outdoor and indoor. We're going to have, now our restroom will be outdoors. That's just the way that it has to be for us. But it's still going to be a nice setup. It's not going to be going to dig a cat hole. That's for sure. 
even though I'm not past that, I mean, I have had to do that before, but we're, we're going to be good on that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, that's what we're planning on doing here in the next few videos is, like, you know, showing you a tour of Brutus before he's had anything done to him because we want you guys to be able to see the process. I know that that's where a lot of my research has come from is YouTube. Go into these videos and see people build tiny homes, building the van life, things like that. The thing about it is, is I've always wanted to do this. I've just never had the encouragement to go do it. So now I have it and we're going to go do it. Like, yeah. Something I do want to say is this is not the life for everybody. If you're thinking about doing this, you need to truly think hard on it. Do your research. Check you into re it. Yeah. Because there's the YouTubers that I watch which I don't have permission to give any names or anything like that, but I'm not going to, so I'm not going to put that out there. But I've seen them in some pretty scary situations. Like one YouTuber, they were up north during the winter, and they had one of those little buddy heaters, and they thought they would be fine. And to come to find out, they didn't take into consideration, like, condensation on the windows, which freezes. All their water froze. They were in pretty deep over their head. So, like, you definitely want to do your research. Not saying that anybody can do this life. I mean, anybody can. If you watch YouTube and you do enough searching, you can see that there's everything from the multi-million dollar RVs to the people that are living out of their trunk. It's just a matter of how committed are you to doing it. So, yeah, you definitely want to do your research. And I'm not just... Like, you also have to prepare yourself mentally for it. Yeah, like... We know that we're, we're going to be next to each other 24-7. We know that, you know, everything is... The downsizing, like, holy crap. We're going to be on top of each other 24-7, and we understand that. But we've also prepared ourselves by trying to live into one room of our house at this point so that we understand that's all the room we have. And like I said, we're both nature people. So a majority of our time, if we can be, is going to be outside. It's not going to be in the truck. Now, we may be by the truck, but we're not going to be in the truck. So that that's something that we're really counting on as far as the, the van life or the car life or whatever you want to call it, RV life. Our life is going to be outside, nature. We're going to be fishing. We're going to be just around a campfire. We want to just enjoy the breeze. Watch the sunset, watch the sunrise, things like that. That's where, like, I get excited because that's like, holy cow, I've never gotten to go and see the sunrise over the ocean or the sunset over the ocean or the mountains. I mean, I was raised in the south, like, the southern Indiana hills. Like, the coolest thing that we had was the Ohio River and that's brown, dirty water. I mean, gross. So, yeah. And I'm raised in Kansas, so the coolest thing we have is Fort Hills. Everything else is flat. Yeah, so we're super excited. Like, we watch so many videos of like van lifers and things like that. And like when they go out to like Utah and Arizona and all those, we're like, oh my God, look how beautiful that is. That's when you're going to see real excitement for me because I'm like, I'm in awe. Like, just seeing the videos, I can just imagine seeing like the real life thing. I think what I'm most excited about is is waking up in a different place. Like you're not gonna be in the same place oh, yeah. all the time. Oh yeah, and that goes back. We were gonna do a tiny home uh, and, a, and a cargo trailer. But we also have done enough research to, that the people that have been doing this kind of lifestyle for a while say don't go out of your way to do it. Use what you have now. See if you even like it and then go from there. And that's kind of like what our next year is gonna be is us trying trial and error, see if we like it. Because we may get out there and think that we're all about nature and then get into Florida during the middle of summer and get carried away a mosquito and be like, oh, that's it, I'm done. Which I don't think it'll be that easy for us, but I'm just saying, you want to, you definitely don't want to go way out of your way to try to experience this life. If anything, go car camping. <laughs> 
<coughs> excuse me, go car camping for a weekend. See what it's like. See if you can do it. And then progressively get more and more stages up like we're doing. So we would like to thank you for watching this video. We would ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see the exclusive content and early videos, please remember to follow us on Patreon and also follow us on Facebook. The links will be in our description below. And we hope to see you guys with us next time. Thank you so much. Oh, one more thing. We want to hear about what your dreams are, what your goals are. If, like, it don't matter. We want to hear about it. That, that's We want to have connection with our audience. So we want to hear in the comments, like, what are your dreams? Do you want to be a car builder? Do you want to be an architect? Do you want to be an engineer? Do you want to travel on the road and see the country? I mean, we want to hear it. So we appreciate your time, and we hope to we'll see you at the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.